this genre is our fun live in Channel 6 News. We are at New York City's Genome Research Institute, where the head geneticist has just informed me that the last pig has died. A pig has died. Looks like we're going to be without meat for some time, folks. All we can do is pray for a miracle. Back to you, son. Farmer's folly, that's what they called it. The first sign of the sickness showed up in 2020. It happened all around the world. No country was spared. Sheep, chickens, cows, all livestock started to die. Within a few years, meat was gone. I was just a kid then. I remember thinking, what's the big deal? We have to go without eating meat for a while. But then, people started to change. Like desperate addicts, there were riots over the last slabs of beef. Stores started to close down. Streets became filled with rows upon rows of shutters. The world went mad because people couldn't have their favorite food. Pathetic. But for a few of us, something happened. He happened. Behind sturdy barbed wire fences and villaging cameras, beyond steel bars and brown doors, there is a church amidst fluttering candles. But most importantly of all, there is a man. When we pray, he comes to us through red curtains we call him God because he did the impossible. He brought meat back to us. We can eat as much as we want, as long as we worship him. There are unbelievers who say he isn't truly God. Those who whisper these lies are never heard from again. Like everyone here, I adore him, but something is wrong. Strangers are coming. Our God will deal with them. Hello, my children. 